Scott in Thousand Oaks, California, a place where I wonder if there really still are a Thousand Oaks. I'm sure <laughs> we lived at a place that was close by. It was called Paso de Robles. Paso Robles, they called it, but that's the, the, the Pass of the Oaks. Okay, uh, enough trivia there. He, he writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, I have recently added solar panels to my home in addition to a Tesla Powerwall. Yeah, cool. It ain't cheap, but it's cool. And depending on time of the day, I could be receiving power directly from the solar panels, the power wall, or the grid, or a combination of the three power sources. How does that impact the quality of the power sent to my audio system? The power wall and solar systems are converting DC to AC. So how clean are these sources? Is there a way to measure how clean each power source is in the system? And are the DC sources effectively doing power regeneration like your power plants via their inverters? Well, you know, it really depends. I've never measured a Tesla. I have a Tesla. I love driving my Tesla, um, but I've never measured the um, uh, output from a Tesla inverter. Typically they run, a good inverter will run one to two percent THD and um, can deliver pretty good, clean power. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, typically out of the wall socket, we get two, three percent distortion, THD. And it's very similar, I would imagine, from a good inverter. Now, and Tesla does, everything I've ever dealt with Tesla has been really good. So I imagine that it's pretty good. If you have one of our power plants, our AC regenerators, it's really easy to measure because we include a THD analyzer and an oscilloscope on the very front panel. It's easy to use. So, and I would highly recommend considering getting a power plant connected. Why? Well, because even if it isn't regenerated power from an inverter like you have in your power wall, power plants are amazing for regulating the voltage, cleaning it up, getting rid of all the sonic problems that AC power has. Long wire, I mean, regardless of how your power is generated, you still have a couple hundred feet of 12 gauge, you know, 14 gauge Romex between your audio amplifiers and the source of power. And they will dynamically um, modulate the AC power, regardless of how it's generated. And that's what power plants fix. And it really makes a huge difference in the way that your audio system performs and sounds. So under any condition, get a power plant in there. But, and, and that's how you can tell what kind of quality power you get. Now most inverters have a problem, and that problem is when you demand current right away and in a big sharp um, you know, uh, suck of power, they don't respond well. They'll typically, the, their THD will shoot up, they don't regulate that well, and the reason for that is because they all use class D amplification on their output to keep them um, efficient. So one of our power plants uses, that's why it's big and bulky, it uses a traditional class AB amplifier with a traditional power storage that is huge, that we have lots of capacitors in there to fix that very problem. So where the wall socket doesn't do that, typically an inverter will, and they're pretty ugly when you try and draw current very quickly. They don't have a lot of current capacity. So that, that's something else that a power plant will fix. But good luck with that. And um, if you do get one, drop me a note. I'd like, to, I'd like to know what you find. And if you have a chance, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Take it easy. Talk to you tomorrow.